if you're having problems communicating to your DNS server or your DNS server is having some type of problem, it's going to seem like the entire internet is down. You ask for the IP address to google.com and you get no response, and therefore, you can't talk to google.com. That's a serious problem. You might go to your command line and see that you could ping any IP address you happen to put in. You can ping the Google IP address. You can ping your default gateway. But you simply can't browse out to anything else on the network. So it's not really a communication problem. It's something related with that resolution process where you provide a domain name and you get an IP address back. That's our DNS server that does that. If your applications aren't working and yet you're still able to ping around the network, then it also might lead you to a DNS type issue. It's because applications generally do not hard code an IP address. At least if they're a well-written application, they will instead use the name of servers that they need to communicate with. And if it can't resolve the IP address from that name, then the entire application is not going to work. If you feel that you're having problems with a DNS server, you should first check your configuration. You've got an IP address that was assigned perhaps during your DHCP process, or you statically assigned it inside of your workstation. Is that IP address matching what it should be to get to your DNS server? A good way to check this basic functionality is to perform an NS lookup. This is a utility that's built into your operating system and allows you at the command line to perform that resolution process. So you'd simply type in the name of a domain, and you could see if your DNS server is responding back to you. To use the NS lookup utility, we simply go to a command line and we type NS lookup, and then the name of the domain that we would like to find. So if we'd like to find www.google.com, we can see that it is going out to server 8.8.8.8. That is the DNS server that I've configured in my computer. And that DNS server has given us a different name for that that we typed in. It is www.l.google.com. Google has a round robin process where it will give you different Google names based on where you happen to be or based on what's available at that time. And then it gives you a bunch of different IP addresses that you could use to access the Google server. This means that our DNS process appears to be working properly. We've sent a request to our DNS server. We've gotten an answer. And we've gotten a lot of different IP addresses associated with that server name. Now, if we're trying to find a different server name, we'd simply type that in at the NSLOOKUP command. And we can type in a lot of different names here. Let's try a different one. Let's try one that is NSLOOKUP and then www. and then a random bunch of information.com. And if that particular domain does not exist, this is the type of response we would get back from the DNS server that we can't find that particular domain. Now, if we typed in a particular NSLOOKUP command and we got nothing back, we could not communicate to the DNS server at all, then we would know there was some type of networking issue that was not allowing us to access that DNS server, or we have the incorrect DNS server named in the configuration of our workstation. If you're not getting much success from one DNS server, it may be that that server is overloaded or it's not available. Another thing you could do is try changing your machine to use a different DNS server. You might want to try one that is a public server that you can validate and at least get some feedback about. A good example is the one at Google. One of their DNS servers is 8.8.8.8. And you can put that into your configuration and see if that works properly for your workstation. That DNS resolution process is critical to make sure that all of your devices are able to contact the servers that they need to communicate with. And by following some of these troubleshooting tips, you can find and resolve those DNS problems as quickly as possible.